let's uh let's mark this and shortcut to bounce we want to do our bounce sub wave interleave 24 44 1 we can import it after the bounce to save it with the session we can call it flags and this is iteration 009 save it under that subdirectory offline we'll go quickly and select bounce If there bounces as a new track, session start. It's going to not be in the right spot, but uh, say OK. And then you have your uh, you know, track in. Whereas I could have had this put on the print track. I could make this uh, it's 09. So I could say uh, new, and I could do print dot. Oh, 09 and put that on that playlist and then delete the uh, track that was just created so it could be on this print track and uh, you can see the the level there so this is good we'll smush we'll go to the beginning and then we'll save it and uh, we'll get out of it in fact we can even get out of Pro Tools and go to and this is flags and it's a bounced file and it's the only one that's there I can open it with my wave lab And here it is, if we analyze it, it comes up as minus 23-ish. So I can take that, go down to say minus 14.5. In the uh, Ultra Maximizer, It's this guy here. Ugh. And I go through a uh, RQ4, a Lin a little Apex there to put some sheen on, a BX Digital, a uh, little dip here, uh, take out some lows out of the sides, a little squiggle there, some widening. Uh, Kramer doesn't hit too much. Like I said, the exciter is only at two. Weak child doesn't even touch it. It just goes through for the analog warmth. Same here, but there is a, a, a sheen put on. And then a a roll in the lows for the bump there. It's it's not a lot. And then BX meter. So let's listen.
That's right on the tips of waves Waving at everyone who need I can circle the sand between my And that's the adjustments to be made. We ended up with minus 16.5 on the threshold with an out ceiling of 0.8. Looks like some overs there, but it's all good. So this is, that's the start. Uh, 4501. So I can go back to 35 something. Get rid of that. Do a fade in. Get to the end. So we're about here. Go for two seconds. So there. Dump the end. And do a fade. Back to the beginning. Do a render. At 320 mp3 at 44.1 and 
flag zone nine. Well, we could call it that. Uh, okay. And because this is part of the session of Pro Tools, you definitely don't want to save this file. You want to leave it untouched. So uh, we don't want to save it. And that way it will still work when you load up that Pro Tools session. Quit Wave Lab into the MP3 mixes. And here it is. Big difference. I think if anything, I might bring the bass up, but uh, his is much louder. Um, even I, I think mine's pretty loud, but uh, I could come down. And uh, he goes a little crazy on the, the drums. I like a cleaner mix myself, but uh, it's anybody's guess is what anybody would like. And there's no right or wrong way. Um, so that'll do it. 